Is Terraform Cloud worth your time? Is it a good tool to learn DevOps in 2021? Who's using it? Well, let's find out. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about HashiCorp's Terraform Cloud. It is their enterprise offering around the Terraform tool. It goes around it like that. Terraform's here and it goes around it. And what it literally does is it basically manages your Terraform executions for you. It stores all of your state. It does state locking. It gives you a very pretty sort of visualization of an actual plan. And it's sort of not that pretty, but it does look nicer than your sort of traditional CI pipelines in most cases. Cases. It does look pretty good in, in GitLab CI, to be honest. And it's used by very large organizations who want to have sort of a professional, or in this case, the actual Terraform developers themselves manage Terraform for them. So they kind of go, well, we've got this Terraform code over here, but we kind of just want to boop, we just want to give it to you. And then you just run it for us and you just maintain the state. Is it being used often? I would say that it has low to moderate use across startups and enterprises and government. However, it is becoming more and more popular. Should you bother to get familiar with it? And I'm going to say that you should get familiar with the basics. Absolutely. Yeah, please get please get familiar with the basics. Log in, create an account, navigate the UI. But then I would just pretty much leave it there because as a tool, if you're an organization wondering whether you should use it, my advice is not to use it. It actually gets really, really expensive very, very quickly. It actually gets in your way very, very quickly because it's not a traditional CI pipeline. You can't just put whatever script in there you want. So if partway through you want to, after the Terraform is executed, you want to run another script and then you, for some reason you want to run Terraform again, you can't do that. It's not, it's not going to let you do that, at least not that I've seen and also not very easily. You're going to be better off with a very simple classic shell script in a CI tool such as GitLab CI, you're going to have far more flexibility. Also, just as an aside, GitLab CI can actually manage your Terraform state for you natively, and it does state locking as well. It's pretty much a no-brainer, really, in my opinion. But again, I would get used to the basics. I would get used to that UI. I'd have a little navigate around. I'd push the state up. I'd have a little play, and then I'd pretty much just put it to the side so that when you do go into an employer who's using Terraform Cloud, they, you can say, yeah, look, look, I've got a bit of experience with it. I've looked at the UI. I've done this. I've done a bit of that. I have a good understanding of what it does as a product. But don't spend too much of your time studying it. Instead, invest that time in a traditional CI CD stack and get that running your Terraform for you. Hopefully that answers that question nice and brief, straight to the point there. Overall, would not recommend. However, do get familiar with it and instead invest your time in a traditional CI pipeline. Hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, then hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and let me know down in the comments below in the little text boxy thing whether or not Terraform Cloud is something that you're interested in using or maybe you do use it. Like I said, it gets expensive quickly. What does your monthly bill look like? I'm very interested to know how much money you spend on your Terraform cloud infrastructure. If you want to have a chat about this, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au and hopefully we will connect soon. Very nice.